Welcome back everybody, it's from Everybody's Golf on PlayStation 4. We're going to get our first practice session in for EG Cup 9. So we're going to play Imperial, regular tees, Tornado Cups. It's the mirror, um, clear morning conditions and standard weather. Um, we don't know what the club skill is going to be for the qualifier yet, so I'm just going to use my standard clubs. If they do what I think they did, which is kind of medium club skill, then I'm about 10 yards, 20 yards longer than I suspect we'll, we'll get on the day. But that's not a massive problem since this is all about course management, really. Just trying to find those places to pitch the ball. What risks we can take. <laughs> like that. What risks we shouldn't take. So if you plan playing the qualifier, this might be kind of handy. So yeah, those three pothole bunkers, basically avoid them. But you should end up somewhere around here. And it gives you 185 in there. So for me, that's a five iron. Um... You can hit it topspin and try and deal with that little mound there. Or you can do what I'm going to do, which is play it backspin. And try and get it up there and stop it. As we've got a bit of wind, it'll probably drift. But I'm not too fussed if it's a little bit long. Yeah, just hit the front edge. That's what I really want to the pup. It's too hard from that range to, um, to go for the eagle. But you can go for the birdie for sure. And again, it's Tornado Cup, so you get it in the ballpark, you should be okay. So there we go, get the birdie. So we've not done this as an 18, but let's have a look. Six, seven, so we've done nine for the, for the outward. Uh, Twelve on the way back, okay, but that's probably custom clubs. So, two. We're going to be downwind again. That's the other thing, we don't know what the wind's going to be like. So your issue here is hitting it too far up there. Just needs to be a little bit gentle. Don't want to actually drive it too far. But you want to drive it far enough to clear that bunker there. Oh, don't run in, don't run in, don't run in, don't run in, don't run in. But I'll just hold. So I've got 120 to go. So again, you can try and play a little topspin into this bank and run it. I'm going to go backspin again. Didn't get the impact, but should be in the region. Oh, go on, that's got a chance. Not far away. So again, another birdie pup. And your aim's got to be birdies all the way on this qualifier, I suppose. With Tornado Cups, you should be able to chip in pup from anywhere. So you might want to take more risk on those shots into the pin than you already would. Because even if you end up in the grass or end up in the um, the sand, you've got a chance with Tornado Cups of digging it out. So, fair bit of wind here. I might just put a little bit of shape on this. Just make it come left to right I want it to bounce and come around the corner a little bit like that there you go it's all right just hold there please 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 thank you still on the fairway being on the fairway is very important when you got these long second shots you don't want to be playing out of rough so <coughs> this one we're gonna play a little bit of Top spin and a little bit of side spin. The idea being it's going to pitch on that fairway in front and hopefully run up. Yep, got a good bounce there. Got it on, got it close, that's good. And again, we got a pretty straightforward birdie putt. And if you get lucky, you could drop one of those from in. So that's three. Par 3 next. I do not like full. And with these, it's probably... Oh, it's 3 iron. Or my unpowered... Oh, I can play... Hmm. It's going to be 3 iron for me. Into the wind as well. i got all the left-hand sway it could find. It's on the front, though. It's on top. Apart from the sway, not a bad shot. And again... Should be able to make the birdie from there. In it pops. Four under. So five's the par four. It's the first of the split fairways. 
<coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so you've got two choices here. You try and play it up onto this surface. Uh, probably a little bit too long to play it there. So we're going to go for the left edge of this surface. And just try and run it. Masterful. As it will come back on the wind. Got a bounce, that's okay by the looks of it. And then we can have a super attacking second shot in. So, 85 to go. A lot of wind. I'm going to play a bit of side and top spin. I want to pitch it in front. There we go. Good, good. And we set ourselves up for nicely for the birdie part. So five under. We're on target. Six is the par five. And again, this is all about finding a good place to land it. If you feel well, we're into the winds, but if this was downwind, I'd play here and try and get a get a shot. And again, you've always got this option here. It's a nice bit of land there to land it on. However, we'll just play a standard shot. Might get a little bit of a skiddy bump off the brook. So there's a bit of randomness here if you're going to play at that lens. Masterful. If we end up having mid club skill and being a bit shorter, it won't be as much of a problem. See, in the water zone. So all you can do here is just hit the thing. That's all I can do. No way of predicting it. Just want to get it out. Hopefully get it on the fairway. Yeah, just have to take my medicine there. It's a par 5 though, so I'm still in the hole. But we are going to need a ferociously good third shot. So 2.35 to go. A world of wind and hurt. Woods to greens. Never a great recipe. With a bit of luck though, with a bit of shape on it, she's going to bounce on the fairway. Yeah, it's just going to be a bit short. Okay. Now, like I said, we're not too worried we've missed it. Because you've always got a chance with... um. With tornado cups. The trick is to kind of almost land it on the hole if you can. And let the cup take care of it. Oh, I just didn't have enough on it. So we'll have to take the part. Yeah. There was a birdie or better on offer there. So there's room for improvement at least. And this is why we practice. But you gotta not hit that water really for the first shot. So again. A little bit of shape here. Just going to bring it right to left. It should be alright. So you've got 161 to the pin. A bit of room for some Tom R6 iron. Yeah, we could go a bit of top spin. Just trying to land it on the front and bounce it up. Oh, that's okay. Needed a little bit more really to threaten the pin. Nice birdie. Six under. Eight's the um, longish par three on this nine. So it's going to be a wood. Oh, I could play a long three iron. That might be the best shot. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. Again, a little bit of shape on it, try and get it on that surface. Ah, need, needed a bit more for the wind, but oh, we're on. Right We've got a pub. Oh, hey, Looks like it's up. Right to the right. <laughs> it's probably there, isn't it? See that? Nice bird. Nice pop. Did you dare it? Nice bird. Amazing. Seven under. Oh. 
It's a par five. So nine to close out the 18. Uh, again, almost tempted to play the slightly shorter shot here. Try and do a bit more with the second shot. Oh, good shot. Just get it on the short stuff. So 3.11 to go, but it's a par 5. It's a fairway wood. Again, I want to get it on the short stuff. I've got a lucky bounce there. And we're going to chip into the pin, so 80 yards into the pin. Going to have to go back to him. Didn't get the backspin. Doesn't matter though. Got it in the hole. So we recover that par back with the eagle. So there you go. Out 27, 9 under. It's not bad. See what you can do on the way back in. So we start with 10. Downwind this time, so got to be kind of careful we don't outdrive ourselves. So I'm going to make this come left to right. Onicha! That's okay. So 130 left. Again, it's a long way downwind. Good, good. Just needed a little bit more on it, I think. for a birdie. And again, pretty simple birdie pup. Nice so we start off with a birdie. That felt good. Oh, 11. 11. Over the lock gates. I like this hole. That is your biggest concern here. I'm almost tempted to play for the edge of it. And rely on the wind to kind of drift me past it. Risky, no, it's going to collect it. There you go, straight in the hole. Never mind. So we've got to hit this out the sand. Well, we got hold of it. Got it out, even though it clipped the front. So 114 left. Big kidney shaped green. How we get it close? Oh, nice Got it on the surface. Got it in the hole. Great shot. They're not that hard once you get kind of feel for where you're trying to put the ball. So despite putting it in the fairway bunker. We get an eagle. It's a powerful. So 12. Again, you've got choice here. At this length, you can just drive down there. Your other options drive over here. The theory being, you get a, you get a better angle at the green. Plus, there's much more fairway over here, so you've got a bit of forgiveness if you fluff your shot. See if we can get it close. Yeah, good shot. Oh, just a bit past, but that's okay. Ten footer. Got the birdie. Nice birdie. Nice birdie. Still full. 
It's a 13. Again, a bit of risk reward here. We're going to try and drive it. Should be alright. Yeah, it's on the wide bit. Oh, might just kick a little bit and run. There you go. See? That's the problem. There's a tendency to just roll away. Rough not sand though, so we've got a chance. And again, Tornado Cups. Anything can happen. If you can get it close enough. There you go. So we put it in the rough, still get the eagle. And that's the trick on this one. You just got to go for them. Just got to go for them. Give the cup a chance. So 15 under. 14 is the tricky par 3. Normally I'd be a bit conservative here, but we're feeling good. We've hit some decent shots. We'll have a go at this. I'm going to try and backspin a wood onto the green. Theory is we want to pitch it and hold. Yeah, line was never right, but it's on the green by the looks of it. Means we'll get a putt for par. Admittedly, a 40 foot putt for par. See that? Yep, got it. It'll get in there eventually. It's a 16. It's a par, hole 15 next. And this is another one where you just got to find somewhere to hold it. You can kind of play a 3 wood if you want and give yourself a bigger second shot. Masterful. Come on, get down. Sit down. Sit down. That's it. Hold. Hold. There you go. So we're off the fairway at least. Not bad. 160 to go. Again, anything can happen. Just going to give it a chance. Can we get another one? No, not quite. Well, it's just too short. However, not the birdie pup. Nice birdie. Seventeen under. This is sixteen. Big long par five. You've got an option to play this skip over here. I don't think we can. We've really got the legs for it today. So we'll try and play over here. Got hold of it. That's it. Just land on that. Try not to end up in one of those little bunkers. Yeah, it's okay. So you've got three twelve to go. So we're going to go over that gorse. We're definitely going to have to lay up, I suspect. But that's okay. A bit of backspin just to hold it when it gets there. I'll also give you a higher shot. That's pretty good. And now we can attack that pin. So 65 to go. Massive amount of hook. Not quite. Oh, the line was okay. It was just a bit long. Birdie putt, though. Nice 18 under. Par 3 next. 17 is a nice little par 3. Again, we're thinking this one through because definitely holdable. So we want to get top spin here. And we want a little bit on it because of the headwind. Did we give it enough is the question. Oh, I gave it enough just a little bit offline. But again, super close. Nice, easy birdie pop. I guess it's a 19 with the 18th to come. Last one for 18. It's a pop. And again, you should just be able to blast this. Use up any power shots you got left. 
Oh, good shot. Yeah, that's all right. So we got 180 to go. Into the wind, so we might have to go. Might have to use our four iron, which I wouldn't mind using anyway. Been on a bit of a mission to power my four iron up. Got all the top spin. Great shot. Can we get it close and get a control stat as well? Oh no, we're a bit short. Oof, actually though, it's not bad. Makeable chip here. Again, gonna give it a chance. There you go. Got the birdie. So, 20 under. Some mistakes were made, but we got some good chips. We got three over 80 yards. Um, but there's more to come there. But I think as well, we're not probably going to have this much length, I suspect. So we'll have to, when we know what the club skill is, play it with the requisite power. But um, all we can do is hit the fairways and greens. And we got 20 under. And we set a score. We well, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Please leave a comment. I know a few of you are a bit worried about Imperial. I wouldn't be. It's, very, it's a very playable course. And I'll see you next time for a bit more of your Golf.